we'll go ahead and open up for questions. Carmichael, we talked uh, last week before the game to practice, and, uh, you know, it seems like you guys in a lot of situations held, you know, obviously holding Dixon under 100 yards is a big key factor for you guys, and that, and that was the game plan going in. Did you feel, you know, in the second quarter, I know you guys stayed on the field a long time, did that towards, did that kind of wear on you in the second half? No, really. I'm just, we were just, all game, we were trying to just hold Dixon to, un, just hold him to as least as we can, and that, that was like a main focus into the week. And then when we were on, on the field for a long time for the second quarter, it really didn't, I, I wouldn't say it, it took away from us, but it, it, it did hurt us a little bit. Is there, is there a sense you guys can kind of turn this around? What, what's your, your guys' kind of mentality uh, right now, especially on the defensive side? Of it? Right now, we know that we're going to the conference play right now, and that's the most important thing. So we're moving forward, and we just we want to go undefeated in conference and, and, and win our conference. So that's the only focus we have on right now. now on the defensive side in particular, what, what are you guys trying to kind of correct? Uh, like? We what, what we've seen is that we need to get more of a pass rush up front from the D-line point of view. And, that, that'll help out our DBs in the long run. So that's what we're focusing on right now. Well, what's missing from from the pass rush? What, what have you guys seen in film? Is it technique? Is it you know different guys need to be in there? I would say I would say it's more of a te technique thing right now. And as in practice, we're working on it every day more and more because we know that we're really good at run stopping, but we need to focus more on that pass rush and ability right now. What's the difference as a defensive lineman between you know staying in your gap for for run for run tech, but also trying to get a push the pocket. What's the difference for you kind of inside distinguishing between the two but also being able to be strong in both? Just a transition in, into from run to pass and then knowing that I'd stay in, in my lane, knowing we got to work it in the defense, you know, just got to stay stay where I need to stay so we can contain the quarterback. With, with uh, Ringo and Hamilton being gone, what was kind of the mindset you guys had as a unit? Moving on, we knew that we needed to find more leadership. So I've tried to step into this role. Blaine Winston tried to step into the role and remain Douglas and also Chris Prater. We've all ste stepped in this role and be more vocal for the D-line because losing those guys, were, it, it was a big blow because they were such a leader for the whole defense, not just the defensive line. Did you have kind of a has to do it by committee kind of thing, not even so much for the leadership part, but just as far as what you're doing on the field? Yeah, we knew that we'd have to do a lot more just because those guys are going so yes. Texas State scores a lot of points or have been. They've also given up a lot of points. Uh, are you looking at you know, who, who can stop the other guy the most this weekend? Well, we're, lo we're looking just to stop. We're going to do the same thing we've been doing all year. We're just going to focus on stopping the run and getting after the quarterback. So. Being one and three now compared to the same thing last year, how is it? feelings, uh, similarity-wise, and differences? We know that we just have to move forward, and there's a lot of ball that's been played. Is the, were, were you guys any more down when you were 1-3 and three last year compared to where you are now? Is there any more optimism than there was at this we, point last year? We know that we have a really good football team, and just it's, it's probably the same as, as right now, but we're, we're very optimistic in winning this conference. So. Does, it, does it help that you, you are – for all intents and purposes, zero and zero right now. You don't necessarily have to dwell on that. Does it help that you've had your non-conference kind of chunked off together and not just mentally? It, it does really help because we know that we, we got more of a feel of, feel of ourselves right now, so we're heading into conference, we'll know how, how to play each team and just just moving forward, we're going to just focus on winning conferences. You guys have done the whole Tuesday game thing before. Uh, what, what is different about having a, a full 10 days uh, between a game and, and playing on Tuesday instead of a Saturday? How, how different is that for you guys? It's just a, a schedule thing. That's really all it is. So ball is ball. So yeah. we know when when the game is, that's when we, we got to be ready. That's, that's all we know. But having it under your belt and having done it before, does that does that help? It definitely definitely helps. And we've done very well in these in these Tuesday night games from, from what, what I've seen. So what do you guys have to change up schedule-wise? Uh, is it basically your what your your Wednesday or Thursday becomes your your Tuesday and then right. yeah. <laughs> that's just how it is. It, it just changes. 
like a day we can practice, like it might be lighter, it would be a heavy day. So it's just something we got to get used to. Okay, anything else? Uh, big plays have kind of been an issue uh, on, on the defensive side of the ball. Uh, what's kind of behind that, uh, giving up those those big long pass plays or run plays or whatever? From a defensive line standpoint, we just, we just know we have to give the quarterback more so we give our DBs a chance to, to cover and then vice versa. If they cover, we'll get a covered sack like that. And uh, are those those big plays in particular kind of demoralizing when they happen? And, and is it more than just you know giving up big big yardage on a play? It's just kind of like a, a letdown feeling. I mean, when it happens, you have to move forward. So I, like whenever it happens, I just focus on the next play, just the next drive, just making sure I do my job if, if, just for the next play. So that's all I worry about. That's good. Thanks, Carl. Thanks,